school with it, y'all. It's coffee. Tapping back in with another one, man. Hit them motherfucking buttons. But peep it, y'all. Coffee was just doing this one, two, you know, scrolling through the timeline. You know what I'm saying? Seeing what the the latest rundown, the algorithm is throwing my way. And I see the bro, AZ Ruction, got some kind of static going on. And I'm like, yo, what's good with this? Y'all hit the comments. Let me know what you guys think about it. But peep it. Uh, and shout out to AZ um, plug everyone over there at the, um, blue eyes, all, all, all them cats over there at the YouTube streets podcast. Y'all know I fluck with y'all. Um, plug has something going on yesterday. He was like, coffee, hop on up here. You know what I mean? Let's, uh, let's chop it up. But I was a bit tied up at the moment, but shout out to them. But peep it, man. Um, AZ, uh, has a quote here. He says, racism is not dead but it is on life support kept alive by politicians, race hustlers, and people who get a sense of superiority by denouncing others as racist. And then that quote is by Thomas Sowell. And then it says, eat a ick, Lurchums. So people, man, Lurchums, I'm not super up on this guy. I did see him over there on a 23 and one deaths platform. And I saw, you know, he, he had a he had a pretty interesting story. I remember he was talking about Rhode Island and uh, working in the club and things like that and battle rap. And uh, it was pretty intriguing that he had a track that he did with Shaq and um, Arsenal, Arsenal the Rebel. I fuck with Arsenal, man. Uh, comment, y'all, all the battle rap fans or whatever, everyone do do fuck with Arsenal, man, gets extra disrespectful with it, with his battling, you know what I mean? But, um, and then I saw a situation, shout out to um, New Age Plug as well, this was the situation I seen him blogging on, where Lurchums in 1090 has some kind of issue or whatever, but they ended up chopping it up and um i guess they are good money and i just remember 1090 telling lurch i'm yo how you talking about you can get from wherever you're at rhode island to to boston in however many minutes and the lurch dude was like yo you caught me b you know what i mean that part just sounded fly so i said it like that but yo uh you you, you caught it that was some fluckery. I was just saying it just sounded good. You know what I mean? But um, I don't know. They had their issue. I guess they chopped it up. The Lurchums dude was trying to get in the ring with him. You know what I mean? I, I remember hearing him say, yo, let's do it for the culture. He was like 1090. You're a part of the hip hop culture in a way. And he was like, um, you know, I am with the battle rap and the music I make. So let's have two white dudes get it in and get to scrapping, you know, for the culture. You know what I mean? Like he was saying only he 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 was saying in a sense it would be a way like uh, I don't know. Y'all, y'all know what I'm saying? He's like, let's have two white dudes beat the brakes off each other and uh, donate it to a donate the money that comes from it to a, uh, you know, a, a, a charity or some kind of cause that benefits the black community. What do y'all think about that idea? That's what uh, Lurchums was talking about with the whole 1090 uh, smoke and all that. But. I don't know. I, I honestly, the guy do not was, know what's going on uh, with AZ and him, wh- where this comes from. I know they had Lurchums on the YouTube Streets podcast recently, but I did not catch that episode. So for those out there, you know, who are up on what's going down with this, please uh, help me get up to speed. And as well as just your thoughts across the board, on everything we're touching and touching on in this one as always and if you're new make sure to subscribe hit the bell all that you know let's let's coffee talk it up that's what we do over here we coffee talk it up music news sports current events life and much more content dropping all the time but i need to hear from y'all the people so let's carry on my bad i went on a, a bit of a a bit of a um rant or whatever if you will there you know but that's just how i rock i just coffee talk so he says eat a ick lurchums ha ha yo you ever see like laughs like that like he's saying boo ha like i can't say that i'm gonna just say ha ha right uh shaking my head straight clown you're literally the biggest cloud chaser i've ever seen you did it to 1090 jake adam calhoun me and a number of others shaking my head. You're 44 years old 
and still act ignorant. What's funny is I don't have clout for you too, Chase, but you still thought you would make a moment. Your non-existent career isn't going to be revamped by cloud chasing. You are a cornball, son. Make sure you read that last part of that quote. That's you. Step your game up. Be better, Lurch. So just going in on him. You know, he says he's, uh, y- y'all heard what I was speaking about with the 1090 situation um, and all that. And, and um, you know, AZ is saying that's pure clout chasing fluckery and now he's he's, he's like how are you going to swing the clout chasing my way when I ain't even really got clout like that so again comment do y'all think AZ Ruction is correct do y'all do y'all think this Lurchum guy is just a cold clout chaser because uh again I'm not totally up on dude I've seen him over there on death's platform and all that but um you know it's just not someone that I'm really seeing a lot of in the blogosphere but I will say this right um, you know, the name of the game when it comes to creating content like me, I just like to get on here. I, I you know, my dream is always in a sense to be some kind of voiceover artist. And, and I like to have these good coffee talk combos and everything like that. But, you know, uh, everyone wants to get a bag more or less is is what I'm getting at. Right. And, um, you know, I do my it's the way I do it. There's probably other ways I can do it, little adjustments or different things and whatnot, you know, where, oh, maybe coffee, if you rock like this better, or you did that, maybe you'd have more of a chance to level up or get to the bag more. But I'm just like, yo, we just going to keep coffee talking the way we do over here. You know, like maybe I, I, I got some other platforms. I might try to do different things with those. But this coffee talk format over here is just going to be what it is forever. But I, when I'm saying this, what I'm trying to get at is everyone's trying to find a way to come up, you know, and it's like sometimes getting in a, a good storyline, uh, bumping shoulders, brushing shoulders or collaborating with a certain individual can help, you know, someone come up or level up or getting into an issue can, you know, like uh, for all the pro wrestling fans out there, you know what I'm saying? If you want to get in a good storyline. Um, you know, to go for the for the world title or the IC title or something, you know, you got to get some smoke with the champ or or someone in position, you know, to to move your way up the card and get yourself booked. So what I'm saying is, in a way, everyone does clout chase to a degree. Um, but, you know, there's there's uh, an art to it or a way to do it or whatever, you know, and um, apparently AZ is saying, you know, this dude is just. Uh, on some, he, you heard him. He called him a cornball and is just saying, like, yo, you, you use a lame, be better. I don't know. So let me know what y'all think about that. Well, let's see what cats are talking about in the comments, though. Here, Mike D says that other guy was the exact same. I'm not sure who the other guy was. AZ says, straight up, bro, that ish was goofy as fuck. Shaking my head, you had me weak, though, bro. Mike D says, AZ ish was hilarious. Blue Collar uh, Vet, shout out to him as well, and shout out to Mike D. Blue Collar, Collar Vet says, Mike D, you had the fool pressed so bad, he danced around your question crazy. My dude, Mike D, LOL, fluck yeah. Mike D says, Blue Collar Vet, definitely, bro, we all exposed that fool for being a bozo. Uh, Blue Collar Vet says, Mike D, facts. That dude ain't ever going to come around again. LOL. So who's this other guy? What exactly happened here? Y'all help me. Help me. Like I said, I definitely tap into the YouTube streets and everything going on on that platform and in that universe or that sector or circle of the blogosphere. But, you know, it's just been wild. I, I haven't been so tapped into everything lately. And I did not see the, the whole Lurchums segment yet. Then uh, Hustle 101 says, never read a truer statement. So he's co-signing. AZ says, salute, bro. I appreciate that. I felt the same way when I seen that. Then we got, um, who else? What do we got? Oh, Diddy. Shout out Diddy. This is my guy. He says, he gave you guys great content. Um, AZ says, yeah, that's if that's what you want to call it, salute. Um, let's continue on. Boston boss says, I stand with AZ. Um, oh, that's that's Ronnie Blue Eyes. AZ says, my man, salute, Ronnie. Yo, so uh, when I was over there chopping it with them over there on the YouTube streets platform, I heard Ronnie saying something about 
he lost his uh, jump off. You know what I'm saying? They flag, He got flagged on some fluckery and, and, and had to, you know, uh, dust himself off and jump off a, a, a whole new one. So, you know, he, he trying to build his thing up, you know. So with that being said, for those that fluck with him, you know what I'm saying? Sub up to the man or whatever. But what did he do? Do y'all know? Because someone put me up on game with that as well. How did Ronnie Blue Eyes lose his, his, his jammy? Tommy Thunder, you see he got the praying hands. Uh, he just throwing up some, you know, some emojis saying, okay, I'll fuck with you, my bad. I didn't mean to dislike that. Uh, AZ says salute. Then we got Chico from Phoenix. Never liked the dude from the jump. His ego makes him a legend in his own mind. Yo, I, I like, I'm not even directing that at Lurchums or, or speaking about that. Like I said, I'm not totally up on everything dude's got going, but I just wanted to point out that there is a lot of cats that are a legend in their own mind. And I remember back in the day one time, man, wifey uh, had like called someone out and the person that they called out used to tell everyone, yo, I'm a legend in my own time. And the wife was like, nah, B, you a legend in your own mind. Fluck out of here. Eat a dick, right? Um, uh, Lurch, he said his ego makes him a legend in his own mind. The way he started the convo saying he has something on his mind he needs to address was lame. I'll bet money he practiced in the mirror how he was going to approach this, calling AZ racist, but will house a chomo make it make sense? So, whoa, hold on. So, that was what the quote there was about AZ Ruction saying, um, you know, that quote about racism. I, I, I uh, apparently that stems from Lurchum's uh, apparently based on his comment here from Chico from Phoenix. Say, yo, like, I, it, it seems he's alluding to that Lurchum's called AZ racist. Um, Blue Collar Vet says facts. AZ says, haha, salute Chico. We are still waiting on your channel. Hope all is well. I know, right? He said it like he was going to end YouTube career. And then he said, laughing clown, bro. You know how he stood in the mirror for like three hours. What do y'all think, man? Does Lurchum's delivery and the way he pumps out his ish give you them type of vibes like this dude be, um, you know, in the mirror? You know what I'm saying? Like, remember at 8 Mile when Eminem was in the mirror in the bathroom? You know what I mean? Trying to... Uh, psych himself up and get ready to, to to go out there and not choke up. B Rabbit, I should say, when B Rabbit was doing that, it, does Lurchums be doing that, y'all? In, in in your opinion, let me know. Um, and do you guys again? Do do you guys think that that he his ego is just is just too much? Is he feeling himself too much? I mean, confidence. Same thing, like I said, with the cloud chasing. You know, everyone's trying to level up and things. You know, but there's different ways of doing things. Um, confidence. You got to have confidence. I have a problem in my life where I've, uh, you know, been underconfident at times. You know what I'm saying? It stems back. It's how it goes. Uh, you know, with a lot, a lot of people, different things that that we battle with in our life or, or different things just tied to our psyche. It's like that ties back to as far back as we can remember, more or less. You know. Um, and then he says, "Blue collar vet, yes, sir." Let's see. Uh, Miss Thang in the comments. Big shout out to Miss Thang. And uh, once again, uh, Shorty, I hope you are enjoying your newfound freedom. Miss Thang been showing a lot of love and support over here on the J Coffee Talk platform ever since, um, you know, I tapped in over there on the YouTube Streets podcast and, and kicked it with him. And, uh, you know, Miss Thang has shared since then that, yo, her, her dude was uh, cheating. So she said, I, yo, I'm out. I got to do me and um, yo, everyone in life, man, if, if something ain't right and you need to make a change sooner is always better than later. And that's a fact, Jack, what a Miss Thang says, where was the hype? The first interview dude should have come to us as a man. Both of them was ignorant. So again, y'all, who's the other dude? I don't, I, I missed this. I got to go back, back and watch this. And, um, you know, uh, what, what do you guys think about what she's saying about, yo, he, he, his energy changed up. The energy got different. Where was all this hype at that time? And uh, AZ says, exactly, miss. Shaking my head. That's all I'm saying. 
He wanted a viral moment that worked in his favor, but it blew up in his face. So, um, I don't know. I tell damn, man, I, he must have been on one. Seen these comments here. AZ saying, man, this man just wanted to go viral at the expense of this platform. You know, he he saw an opportunity that he wanted to seize and get the, you know, because um, based on what Miss Thang said and then AZ's response there, it sounds like they're saying, you know, this dude wanted to manufacture a certain type of energy that it was not organic. So I'm going I'm to just uh, lead us all right here. That's going to conclude this video. But AZ Ructions, Lurchums, uh, racist allegations, cloud chasing allegations, all that. I, I, I want to hear about, about it all in them comments. And I thank y'all for tuning in. This has been another episode of Jay Coffee Talk. Once again, y'all, uh, don't forget to sub up. Stay tuned for more. And I'm gone, y'all. Peace.